I'm popping bottles. I'm popping bottles. I'm popping bottles. <laughs> Good morning, head starters, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching. I am at the Agora Convention Center, and this is where we have the One Young World Summit. I am excited, but also a bit nervous because I'm speaking today, and you'll see it later in the vlog. How are you feeling? Tops. Feeling tops, you ready? Tops, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, okay, well you better be, because we've only traveled, I don't know how far to get you. You are true, it's all for this, literally. Yeah. If I mess up, done, game over. is of course to see old friends <laughs> and to meet new ones. So I want you to meet my very best new friend. <laughs> His name is Shiva Singh. He comes from Cape Town, South Africa, and he's a kind of guy. He comes to you and says, I have a gift for you. And you say, how nice. And he says, it's a t-shirt, and you say, how wonderful, and then he pulls it, and you discover, it's his own face. <laughs> so you see the kind of guy he is. Now, he's also very smart, as indeed this show. But we've all had the chance to have great teachers at one point in our education, school, university, if we've been lucky enough to get there. We've also had very boring ones, especially in my case, math teachers. Now, Shivan has had the idea that uh, teaching might be less boring if it's not always a sort of top-down exercise, but also a more horizontal one. Having very good students with good marks and also some teaching skills, talking to other students to encourage them to study more. So he's made a business out of that because this young man also believes in profit. But it is social entrepreneurship, and he will be, I'm sure, extremely good at explaining it to you. You have to talk. So, have you ever thought how different school might be if we get the brightest kids to take over the classroom from the teachers? It's not such a strange concept given the changes in technology and the way many experienced teachers struggle to keep up. Putting the smart kids in charge is what we do at my company, Presto Academy. Ooh, my voice is too loud for this mic. <laughs> the only organization in South Africa that empowers the top performing students to create educational material for others. Our slogan is by students for students. We've assembled the A-team literally, and they have written four publications for college students and eight for those in high school. 
as well as advanced learning techniques. The books incorporate humor, beautiful design, and analogies. Today, Presto Academy's content has been provided to 100,000 South Africans, and we have sold over 2,000 copies of our university guides. You'll clap for this, but wait for this one. We've partnered with the cellular provider Vodacom so that our content is given at a discount to their two million customers. We also have a one-for-one -one model. So for each book purchased, we give it to learners in underprivileged schools. And I know that this will improve their marks because a learner in first year came to me and told me that she received 91% for using our accounting book. But I was really happy for her. But then I realized, wait a minute, she got a higher mark than me and I wrote the book. <laughs> but hold on, the journey hasn't been easy. In the beginning of my third year of college, I had a chemical imbalance in my brain. I had to take a leave of absence from university. I was depressed. I couldn't wake up, I couldn't do my work, and I hurt some of my closest friends and family. I gave off my worst self to the world. Being at the lowest point in my life, I decided to make a change. There was no ways that I was going to suffer like this. So I started researching how to maximize human potential and live a good life. I read and absorbed over 200 books. I interviewed the world's leading experts on maximizing human potential, such as world-renowned psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. I won't lie, I had to search on YouTube to learn how to pronounce his name. He coined the term flow, the highest state of human consciousness where we perform at our best. More importantly, I learned how to increase my own happiness and well-being. I found meaning in life. I learned how to have more natural energy, which as you can see, clearly works. Like I'm the best testimonial. <laughs> so what exactly, so I was back, Shivad Singh, the second. <laughs> so what exactly did I learn? The Careers Advice Organization, 80,000hours.org, performed a data analysis to find out which job skills will make people most employable in the future. Their analysis found the skills that are most useful in the changing technological environment are social, managerial, and analytical. This and my personal experience inspired me to start life coaching for students. So we teach them how to access the flow state, how to create a growth mindset the number one factor for success, how to identify their unique strengths, and how to meditate. I wrote four books on these topics last year aimed at empowering young people. We also did an impact study on students which showed improvements in their coping skills and emotional intelligence. These are the skills that will make learners more employable in the job markets that don't exist yet. From my own experience and research, I believe that every child has the capacity to be a genius. As you overcome limiting beliefs and remove the heavy baggage from the past, you become lighter. You begin to love yourself, embrace your imperfections, feel gratitude, and experience a greater peace of mind. In this way, you achieve an immense psychological, emotional, and spiritual transformation. You begin to resemble your true self. My mission is to help young people discover what makes them come alive and maximize their potential so they give off their best self to the world. We aim to impact a million students through Presto Academy school content and life coaching for students in the next two years. We will scale our online academy to the rest of Africa and, lic and license our content to other countries. I would love to partner with anyone from the, 180, uh, the 190 countries to expand our program. 
Oh, and did I forget to mention that I'm just 22? So we have enough time to change the world. Yeah.